Peter, what did this guy do? If the hardcore band's guitarist looks like this, you're about to die in that pit. Oh, see, as the punk and hardcore scenes have evolved over the decades, so has the aesthetic style of the people within the scene. Instead of provocative and aggressive styles, members, especially of younger post-hardcore bands, look rather unassuming and normal, to a point where you would classify them as something like nerds and geeks instead of musicians of harder guitar genres. And over time, a meme evolved where people claim that the more normal and nerdy the musician looks, the more brutal the music is they play. So the meme basically says that because this dude looks like a lovely and nice accountant, his band must play the most violent hardcore punk you can imagine. And the mosh pits at their concerts are so brutal that there's a very good chance of audience members just not surviving the experience. Oh, so you're telling me normal Spongebob plays death grunge metal. Got it. PETA, what this mean? Garfield normally, I hate Mondays. John, where is my lasagna? I'm gonna kick Odie off a table. Garfield from October 23rd to October 28th in 1989. Hey, Sans in, but you're not Peter. <laughs> Uh, I, I know nothing about this subreddit other than the joke gets explained, which is great because sometimes they go right over my head. In short, it's a comic about dealing with the human fear of being alone, portrayed by Garfield being at his house without John, Odie, or it being occupied. Occupied, you mean? At the end, everything turns normal again. There are like 600,000 theories about Garfield being dead and purgatory, purgatory. Oh my god. And more. Sands out. Do we get to see a comic? Oh, we do! John? Odie? Anybody home? I'm alone. You have no idea how alone you are, Garfield. Oh, they're pulling some lasagna cat vibes on that. <laughs> do you think that's kind of where they started drawing influence for the lasagna cat uh, video series? I think uh, this would be a good starting place. Feels very out of place for, uh, for Garfield. Peter, I'm genuinely confused. What is the joke here, if any? I'm so glad I'm not locked away from the world as a homemaking slave to some husband. Deborah, your 15 minute break is over. Oh, no, see, the joke is that the woman is glad she's not a slave to a husband. However, this is in contrast to her job where she is basically a slave. But aren't we all, in the grand scheme of capitalism, just cogs in the gear? Or gears in a cog? Oh, whatever. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, just a, I'm just a cog. I don't get it. I don't get a... Uh... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know if this is just straightforward or if I'm missing something. Can I interest you in a great new service? For just $40 a week, we will hire assassins to slowly poison you. You'll feel worse and worse until you die. Our guys are good. They killed 7 million people last year. God, no. Why would anyone want that? Just give me a pack of camels. Ah, see, I know what they're saying here. They're saying that uh, he's already buying that, right? Yeah, it's ironic. Payday here. This comic is being ironic about cigarette smokers with how they know the health risks of smoking, but are okay with it and continue to do so. Yeah, because, uh, you know, it's my choice. I'm not being poisoned by assassins. And they all look mean and angry. <laughs> my pack of camels has a cool camel on it. I like camels. <laughs> <laughs> what does bulldozer mean? Levels of white anger, ranked. Son of a gun. <laughs> All right, bucko. You just hold your horses. Well, now wait just a minute. News flash, pal. <laughs> oh, this isn't funny at all. That is a killdozer from what I remembered after the government screwed that man's company over with a new road he built this behemoth and ran over houses of people he didn't like or made the road. I think it took place in Colorado. After the engine broke down, a sink's gunshot was heard. When police cut open the metal, they found his corpse. He, uh, yeah, took himself out. Quixer makes a good video about it. Sadly, not actually what happened. He was a massive scheming head about property that he promised to sell, and the local government wouldn't let him dump sewage into the town's water supply, so he built a... a, a killdozer? That was his response? I've reread this a few times now, but I still don't get it. Wow. My king! My king! She is a married woman! Oh, but I am king. I don't get it either. <laughs> Peter's priest here. Oh no, it's biblical. This is in reference to the biblical story of David and Bathsheba? She was married and her husband was currently on the front line of a war that was going on. <laughs> Wait, is this a, is this the first documented, uh, 
So it's the first documented discovery of the, the military man's wife's boyfriend. What's going on? You know that? You know what I'm talking about, right? David was advised that she was married, but slept with her anyways. An important note here is that this was likely much less than consensual, which is why I believe his advisor looks a bit distraught over King's. No, that's not why. That, that's not why something quirky. What happened was, and it is explained here, he got her husband killed on purpose, which is still fucking crazy. <laughs> And that's just how it goes in the biblical times, I guess. It was a, a, a lawless land of kings and people like throwing bricks at each other's heads. I don't get it. As a musician, this is the highest compliment you can receive from another musician. Oh, the stank face. Yeah, man. Has nothing to do with being mean or jealous. It's so called a stank face and it's common in funk, jazz, blues, and soul where players take turns improvising solos, and when you hear someone play a sick, dirty line, you can't help but make such a face. And so the stank face is like, oh, you put some stank on that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm so glad we're learning about the good word of the stank face. And, and notice the distinction, I'm not saying stink face. That is a much different, more dastardly thing often performed by Rikishi. No one in the replies could say why it's funny. West Coast sailors. East Coast Sailors. Lois Dad's dry cleaner here. Might be high on the perk right now, but this appears to be referring to the difference in ease of navigation by sail between the Atlantic, East Coast, and Pacific West Coast oceans. Specifically, if one is only used to the Pacific, it is a shock to see how gray, cold, stormy, and forbidding the Atlantic can be. Conversely, an Atlantic soldier will be amused at how warm and calm and sunny the Pacific can seem in comparison. Yeah, according to Moby, this is extremely accurate. <laughs> you said <laughs> who are the top left and bottom right and why should they be trusted why i never trust a mf who drinks milk i love how milk has become the universal symbol of true evil in psychopathy and film because it's both valid and correct well what about kurt angle he has milk he seems like a nice enough guy top left is the succubus from get out right is colonel hans landa from uh, the ss from Inglorious Bastards. God, that was a, I don't know why that was so difficult for me to read. Bottom of his, uh, Anton Shigur? I, I, it's, it's a ch I don't know how to say his last name. From No Country for Old Men, and bottom right is Alex from A Clockwork Orange. All famous milk consumers. And what do they have in common? That's right, they're all very, very mean. The milk is just meant to contrast the characters because it's seen as a normal and innocent act associated with children. Where's Homelander? Oh no, no, he doesn't just drink the milk. That's the wrong kind of milk too. He deserves a whole other meme unto himself. Uh, who is Justin Roiland and what happened? Justin Roiland after his cellmate tells him to do the Morty voice for the 100th time. Hi, Mr. Jellybean, I'm Morty. I'm on an adventure with my grandpa, Morty. Kinda late on the whole meme, but a bit ago he got accused and charged with DV, although the charges were dropped. Uh, still dropped from the show though. Saw this on r slash clever comebacks, but I don't get it. Please help me, Peta. And we just hit another all time high in Twitter usage, lol. Roman's never been this brightly lit at night, Nero. Uh, see, Nero was a Roman emperor that allegedly ordered to set Rome on fire. Reasons are various, from quest for inspiration, he was a mediocre artist, to clearing some space for construction, the man was quite deranged. The joke is that Elon is owner of Twitter, and due to his poor management, many people say that the platform is being destroyed. And he's claiming that contrary to critics, Twitter has never been better. The same way Nero was claiming due to the destruction he caused, Rome was never more prosperous or populous since well-lit cities were a sign of prosperity of their people. Ah, <laughs> they all compare Elon to a deranged emperor bit. That is a very, did you see recently the whole uh, Mercy cosplay thing that happened with Elon and uh, Amber Heard? That was all over my Twitter timeline, people talking about it. And then he just posted a picture of it. My, <laughs> and then the Mercy voice actress commented on it too. It's a wacky world, man. PETA, can you explain this joke? Animals running in circles is so cool. Deers, ants. Ah, uh, reindeers run in circles as a defense mechanism to protect the female deer and the young at the center. Most of them make it out alive, so they're chill. Ants, however, walk in circles because they're stuck in an infinite loop of chemical scent trails. Their instincts tell them to follow the trail let out by another ant, but that ant may be following the trail let out by the first ant, leading to an infinite spiral of starvation and death. Oh, that's intriguingly morbid, thanks. <laughs> Peter, am I stupid? 
American cops when they hear there's a girl 500 miles away playing with her pet goat. Shame. What? So a while ago, there was a county fair where the winning goat got put up for auction. The girl found out that meant her beloved pet would be slaughtered. She got upset and the guy who paid for paid the money for the goat agreed to return it to her and let the county fair keep the money. The county fair decided that this would not do. Why? Called the sheriff's department to kill the goat. The deputies literally drove 500 miles to kill a pet goat in front of a kid to teach her a lesson. Literally precisely that, that was their verbal reason. Why? What? <laughs> I mean, you got the money for the goat. She gets to keep the goat and the, the guy who won the goat gets to feel good about doing a nice thing. What was the outcome of that? Like, okay, there was a lot. This was last year? How long ago was this? Wait, this was this year? What? No way, dude. All right, there's a lawsuit happening. I hope the get money, that that is so sad. Wow. It was in California too? Man. Dude, that is, I don't even know. I don't even have words. That's crazy to drive 500 miles just to put a slug in a goat's head to teach a child. <laughs> That's what you get for messing with the county fair. Patooey. Why? I don't know about firearms, sorry. Ah, I, I don't get it either. The recoil is going to put the scope right circle through her eye. The butt of the rifle left circle should be against her shoulder to prevent that from happening, not over the top of it. Oh, okay. So she's gonna take her own eye out and that's why Nick Fury is there. Very funny, very silly. No more eyeball, oopsie, no more eyeball. Peter, what does SpongeBob have to do with five guys? Oh, it's the, it's the punctuation. It's the, uh, see, see, I know this one. They had to clarify. <laughs> they had to clarify. Five Guys, the burger chain founded in 1986, actually sounds real good right now. See, and I, I don't even need them to explain it. I got it. The, 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 you had to clarify the burger chain because people are gonna make sex jokes by misinterpreting, oh, really? Five Guys, huh? Well, ooh la la. <laughs> The screenshot is from the episode of SpongeBob titled The Camping Episode, where they ward off sea bears using an anti-sea bear circle, a simple circle drawn in the sand around them. This response is comparing the clarification describing Five Guys as the burger chain founded in 1986 to the anti-sea bear circle, except instead of protecting against sea bears, it protects against people making sexual jokes by, what did I say, purposely misinterpreting the statement Five Guys sounds good right now. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Was wondering what the magic circle had to do with five guys. Forgot the sex joke. My mom brought home five guys last night and she wouldn't even share. Ah, 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 ah. No clarification, sick em. When you're on deployment and your wife spends $50 at CVS at 8.21 AM. No, the morning after pill, no. <laughs> 8 a.m. means she was hooching around. <laughs> My wife's marine husband is protecting this country, asshole. <laughs> Peter, I don't get it. The insert any special force team is outside. Insurgents, hostages. The Spetsnaz is outside. Insurgents, hostages. It's a reference to the Moscow theater hostage crisis. The Spetsnaz pumped a toxic gas into the theater to incapacitate, sorry, the terrorists, but also killed and injured hundreds of hostages in the process. We don't negotiate with terrorists, and we certainly don't negotiate with their hostages. Why not? Aren't those the people you're going over there to save, or is this just a side quest? Peter, I don't understand what this means. Hello, ma'am. I know you have a perfect driving record, but we're here to confiscate your car because a drunk driver that you don't even know killed 10 people on the interstate. Hand it over. Fork it over now. It's about gun control. Ooh, hot button topic. The first premise is that the government wants to take your guns away because other people use them for killing sprees. The second premise is that it would be silly to confiscate someone's car because someone else went on a rampage with one. Ergo, gun control is silly. I'm not even gonna touch that subject. I'm not even gonna get involved. This is a funny meme channel. We talk about funny Reddit memes here. Get that out of his shoe. Shoot, get away, go. <laughs> PETA, why is she sick? My son just texted me this, I'm gonna be sick. Uh, what time and place was I born? Stay away from that girl. There's a running joke slash stereotype about girls that are into astrology being way into astrology. 
seeing everything you do as being caused by your astrological sign. Then Mang constant annoying comments about how they can definitely see you're a insert astrological sign here. Based on other comments, some people here seem weirdly defensive about this. Just want to say, I don't know anything about astrology, never met anyone that's into it, I've just seen those memes. Ugh, sounds like something a scorpion would say. Yeah, dude, those scorpions. <laughs> Always with their stinging critiques, dude. PETA, why do lobsters not like crucifixes? Oh, personal, smart, sexy female looking for strong lobster-headed lycanthrope for love and monster truck rallies. Nice, very nice. Yeah, he likes those things. Going on a nice date, but the cross. Oh, wait a minute, he's wearing a yarmulke. The lobster is wearing the, <laughs> you described it as the little hat Jewish people wear, huh? So he found the perfect girl, but they're different religions. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah, I think it's that he met so many of the criteria. Lobster head, werewolf body, fellow monster truck enthusiast, but I can't get past a, a difference of religion to be together. Yeah, I mean, he fit everything. He's a lobster headed lycanthrope fellow, but alas, the books we read means that we can, no we can never be together. Our love is forbidden due to our Silly religious texts. Peter, I don't understand the Canadian part. Ow, this is gonna need stitches. It'll be fifty-eight thousand dollars. I, I can help you. And I don't. I don't have any silly accents for the. It's Tuesday. I can help you in thirty-eight months. <laughs> yourself. Okay, this is legit wild. Canada has created something called MAID, which stands for Medical Assistance in Dying. They offer euthanasia with a shorter wait time than treatment for serious conditions. An aid for serious disabilities, which is seen as a damning indictment of the Canadian healthcare system and its treatment of disabled people. That, I, wow. And it has such a nice acronym too. It makes it sound so sweet, but it's uh, really kind of, you know, those, those darn Canadians. <laughs> Who is Johan Hill? What did he do? You mean Jonah Hill? Oh, this is about that, the, 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 where he was dating the surfer girl. He didn't want her to wear a bikini while surfing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was giving her texts like, I don't want you to wear a bikini while surfing, which is like what you would wear while surfing when you're in the ocean and not land. Or like, didn't want her to post videos. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, there you go, clarification. From what I've seen, it was not that he didn't want her to wear a bikini while surfing, it's that he didn't want her to post videos of her surfing while in a bikini, which is, ergo, don't post videos of herself surfing. I don't know, again, I'm not gonna touch any of that with a 10 foot pole, but you know, Jonah Hill. What did Margaret Thatcher do? Oh, Margaret Thatcher is dead. I am at a gender neutral bathroom. Hooey! All right, and they didn't even go into the the details on Margaret Thatcher. I, I have like a, a a basic synopsis of it because I would love to talk about it really quick. Uh, <laughs> basically, like depending on who you ask, she either saved the British economy or killed it, nearly killed it with like lasting repercussions. There's a, a whole lot of information you can find. Uh, she sold off home systems in the UK to people leaving no stock for those that needed it. She sold off telecommunication infrastructure, rail infrastructure. Uh, I believe I read somewhere that she was responsible for like the largest increase in inequality in recorded British history. So conversely, People who like really benefited from Margaret Thatcher are like, we love Margaret Thatcher. But like every other person's like, we hate Margaret Thatcher. That's what happened. What is the joke here? One is certain death. The other grants membership to the order. Choose wisely. Oh no, the mycology club meetup. They gave them deadly mushrooms. All mushrooms are edible, some only once. It's a common phase in mycology that illustrates the importance of knowing what you're poisonous before consuming them. Fun fact, the red-haired lady in the bottom panel hid her robe and seems to be less than forthcoming about her involvement. Ooh, we got some mystery and lore. Ooh. You can see her ring in both panels on her right hand along with the robe stuffed in the trash. A little bit of mystery and intrigue in this four panel comic. Or I guess three panel. Two panel, I can't count. Help? A fairly underrated Barbie joke is when someone calls her a fascist and when she's crying about it, she says, I don't control the railways or the flow of commerce. Vern here, famed Italian naughty man, Benito Mussolini is famed for making the trains run on time. What a chap. 
but he was also a fascist. I'd like to see him wiggle like the spaghetti he tried to ban. Play me off, Johnny. I love the whole Mussolini was a fascist thing. No, 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 my friend. He was the fascist. Created the whole dang ideology. Peter, what does this mean? Sitting blindfolded. Moira in lab coat feeds me a Twix. Left. She marks her notes. 329 consecutive correct guesses. Peter Gargoyle here. Eh? Twix is doing a marketing campaign where they pretend that they're two brains, viciously opposed to each other. Right Twix and left Twix. Even though they're exactly the same and it's just a gimmick that has no impact on the chocolate, the meme supposes that the man, captured man, is able to tell the difference even when none such difference exists, and thus has been captured as some sort of oddity. Peter out. Uh, they actually are different, by the way. <laughs> it's, a, it's another level of candy obsessed if you could taste the difference between right. That's like tasting the difference between the Mikes and the Ikes. <laughs> it's actually really easy to tell when blindfolded because the left Wicks don't taste right. And <laughs> isn't that really what it's all about at the end of the day?